Hello everyone, it's me once again. So a good friend of mine on YouTube, a username called Ernst uh, Bowenklin actually sent me a very good link of a controller for uh, Anki Vector. Now this is not a genuine Anki software obviously, but it's very easy to use and um, all it's asking you to do is actually put in your username, which is probably your email and also uh, the uh, password and so on. Now the way if you are stuck with all the other information if the app happens to ask you for all these things all you need to do is uh, pull up the hand of Vector. So before you do that you actually press Vector twice on the back button while he's on the char charging dock pull up the arm and uh, pull down the arm uh, and basically it'll show you the ID uh, and um, etc. So I'm sure you're aware because I made a video about this long time ago. Anyway, so I have downloaded the software and uh, somehow Windows Defender is saying that there's a security breach. So I was a bit cautious about it, but it's up to you. But for the purpose of your benefit, I have decided to download it. And it will be shown, um, once it's installed, the, the icon will be shown on your desktop. So you just basically click on it. And as I said, all you need to do is type in, for me, it was only the username and the password. Uh, the app automatically detected my um, internet gateway and the um, and etc but I'm not an IT expert but if you get stuck please do comment below but it's fantastic because the control is very easy to use now so I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of how uh, you can control this vector and I'm sure many of you actually have asked me before about this so let me get on with this so here it goes Okay, so basically you can see there's this Vector Explorer app there um, and then what you do is you click on it and pretty much you get this pop-up, okay? So um, what I'm gonna do is that all you need to do, I mean once I log in, once you log in you just need to press connect to Vector and it's connected to Vector and soon you'll see the camera of Vector popping up. Well actually Vector is saying that um, it's actually saying that Vector sleep. So let's press this one, which is asking for drive off the charger. So here it goes. So Vector is woke up. Amazing. So you can see Vector moving, uh, which is quite cool. And you can see me there. Now, the other thing is the, you can turn on the camera, you can turn off. And this is the control button. So use your keyboard as left, right, left, or forward and backwards, you can actually uh, do that. So if you click on it and then you go forward, backward, and then if you press left, right, left, right. Anyway, so you can actually rotate vector. Now for, for your benefit, what, what I could do is just show you whether it, vector will fall down the cliff automatically. Oh gosh, sorry. So let me do that again. So the Control is off, but let's turn on again. And if you try to, um, okay, Vector, come on, come down. So if you rotate and if you ask Vector to go forward, you can see that Vector is, is automatically avoiding uh, the obstacle to fall down. So that's, that's really good. Now the other thing you can do is you can say text so you can type it again. So let's say hello everyone. So let's, and then you need to just press enter to make Vector speak. So you can actually ask Vector to speak whatever you want. And now the eye color, you can actually change it. So let's put Vector on the spot and you could do, you can see all this um, changing of eye color. So you get more variety because it's a screen and saturation as well, which is really good. So you can do black and white, I guess, um, or brightness and etc. And the other one, lastly, which is to drive to charger. Okay. So if you press charger, it's actually an animating. So let's see if Vector is going to, there you go. An amazing thing is that the um, <clears throat> the screen will tell you if it's a charger and it will also recognize my face as well. Here you go. Can you see that screen there? It says charger. And then uh, Vector will basically 
you can see the eyes of the vector going in and then vector is basically going back to his charger. Now, one thing I do want to show you is that I named myself a very bit rude name because I got bored and vector will, when vector sees my face, it will automatically recognize my face. So let's say, okay, so let's show vector my face, see if vector recognize me. Nope. Um, but normally what I'm trying to get at is um, Vector will see my face. Oh, here it goes. And um, it will recognize and my name, the way how I name Vector will pop up to the screen. So if basically someone asked me whether they will use this software or not, I would say it's very good. It's very easy to use. Someone put a lot of consideration on it. And overall, I, again, I do want to give uh, my friend Ernst a uh, big credit so thank you very much for giving me this information and I want to make sure everyone who wants to customize the use of Vector that there are this fabulous um, software available to download right away so do please uh, click the link down below and also make sure you subscribe to Ern's um, YouTube channel as well he will he definitely provides me a lot of information good information and we've been very good friends um, though we haven't met but um, anyway so um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video any queries if you have any problem logging in perhaps I might be able to help you so please do uh, comment down below so anyway hope you enjoy the new uh, software I'm pretty sure it's new anyway and um, have fun uh, this is LJP Tech all the best. Bye-bye.